All right, today I want to take a look at the What's for Dinner project. Um, so you start out with a plate and a wooden table underneath it, and it's your job to draw something that kind of looks like food, right? And you have to use three, at, at least three shape drawing commands and some fill or stroke, right? To kind of make it look a little bit realistic. It doesn't have to look good. It just has to look somewhat like food, right? That's kind of the criterion. If you if you can somewhat say what it is, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to go for easy recognizable shapes, right? So I want simple shapes like uh, an, a, um, what's it called? A baked egg, right? Very simple, very simple recognizable shape. Uh, so we'll, let's just draw the yolk first. So I'm just gonna draw an ellipse. Uh, with some random parameters. These are not very good yet. Just draw this out somewhere. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, like an oval shape, and just put that in here somewhere. All right, like this. And then I want to make uh, the egg. Oh wait, the yolk is the inside, right? Well, I said that wrong, but I... All right, so this is gonna be the egg white, and now I'm gonna make the egg yolk. So with fill, you can fill it up with a color. Now, obviously, we want that to be yellow, since the egg yolk is yellow. And then let's just make that smaller, just appear on the inside of it. And as you can see, I just click on this and then drag this little button here to adjust these parameters. And to the left means smaller, to the right means bigger. Right, and once you start playing around with this, you can notice which one controls what exactly. And if you ever get confused, you can also just type the command ellipse. And here it says right here what it does. You can say what the ellipse is. You can go over to one of the parameters. It will say what it is, width of the ellipse, all that good stuff. So as the second shape, we need one more, right? So let's make some, uh, I don't know, let's make some bacon, right? So fill it up with some brown color, see if we can make some sort of brown brownish looking color here it's gonna be a little bit hard brown is not the easiest color to make through an interface like this but this looks fine enough if you want a rectangle you use the rect command right rect draws a rectangle uh, so let's do that right now again I just start with some random parameters and then I start making my adjustments as I see it pop up on the canvas make it a little bit like this. I think, I mean, obviously this is a very, very basic representation of bacon, but I think if you show this to most people, it's clear what it's intended to be, right? All right. Well, this is obviously very, very basic, but the intention of this project is simply to show that you understand what the fill command is, right? And make proper colors with it. Use this little thing right here to adjust the colors and that you can make ellipses and rectangles and fill them up with the appropriate color and get them to the right location. If that's all right, then you've kind of passed the project, right? As long as you've drawn something that resembles food. So that's it for this one. I think this looks good enough and I'll see you in the next one.